Yo, how are we doing guys? So, back in Chiang Mai, a three and a half hour journey. A few issues with my luggage, unless I go into that. Um, basically, the guy wanted to charge me 100 baht for uh, a suitcase, even though, even though even though it was advertised at 200 baht. It's a long story, I got sorted out in the end. But yeah, a journey I won't forget. Yeah, so back in Chiang Mai, um, I, it's a nightmare journey into Pai, it's three and a half hours and it's like 762 corners. It's always really snaky road, um, didn't feel great, still don't feel great. I feel a hell of a lot better now, I'm stationary. Just in a, just in a uh, Starbucks, just getting a unicorn cake and a raspberry cooler sort of uh, drink. And then if you can look over there, which is behind the camera, I'll just whiz you around now. You can see the Chiang Mai countdown to 2023 over there. We've got stage and stuff, so... Yeah, it looks interesting. Not sure what the plan is. Yeah, you need to go check the hostel and see, see what's going on. I'm sure there's something going on. But yeah, not sure what the plan is. Don't have any plan in Chiang Mai. It's just basically a passing point. Um, I didn't know where to spend New Year's. So I was like, I'll just spend it in Chiang Mai. I know it quite really, really well. And obviously, Zoe and Yeo was sick. So, right, why not? So, a cute day. Don't know what I'll get up to. We'll see what happens. Uh, new sort of fights out, etc. to Cambodia. Still, idiot. I'm an absolute idiot, trust me. Need to, need to, should have got to like last week when I made the decision. But yeah, I'll keep dated. Right, I'm gonna eat my cake. Uh, I'm gonna have my cake and eat it. I'm gonna have my raspberry cooler. You get some lunch, you need to check in, all you know, life out and stuff, and then um, yeah, see what I get up to. Catch you guys later. Okay, what's going on, people? So it is the Saturday, the 31st of December 2022, and you guys join me in Chiang Mai. It's New Year's Eve. It's the final day of the year. Where has this year gone? Let's take it back to yesterday. Not sure where, what, where I caught up to. So, um, saw me in the Starbucks maybe, or the hostel. So after that, I met with a girl who lives here, went for some dinner and some drinks. We went around the Nina Hyman area, which is northwest of the city, um, near the Maya Mall, which I was in on Christmas, on Christmas Day. So a really cool area. Like, I think where the, the, the last few times I've been in Chiang Mai, I've only really visited the center anyways, Exploring different areas in Chiang Mai is really cool. I really like this place and I definitely think I'll be coming back in future at some point So we went there and then came back to the hostel and then I went out I went to Zoe and Yao and Spicy Shock Seem to spend most of my life in there while I'm in Chiang Mai, but I absolutely love it They're great clubs like genuinely two of my favorite clubs in the planet in terms of just like a normal night out So I can't help it like you know, it's, it's not like these clubs are on my doorstep They're 13 hours away by flight 14 hours away by flight. So Yeah, I can't just like Got to take full advantage, got to be full send it every single night, full send it alcohol free of course. Yeah. Really good night again, met with a guy who was staying in a hostel room uh, in England, so we just went out, had a fun time, that's it. Woke up today, a bit tired, got up about half eleven and then grabbed 7 9 breakfast, standard, and then I am here. So I got a, I got a grab, one of the taxis, you can get, I was on the motorbike, you can get a taxi, so I got a grab to Chiang Mai Zoo, which is again back in the northwest of the city. I'm gonna, gonna go and explore um, viewpoint slash temple and maybe some waterfalls, hopefully. So stay tuned for that, I'll keep you updated. See you shortly. Okay, so you join me at the Wat Pra That Doi Supeth, also known as the Doi Supeth Temple. So basically, it's about 15 kilometers from the city center, um, and basically, it gives you the most incredible view of Chiang Mai. Um, and it's basically it's about 1,070 it's 1,070 meters, um, and basically you can see the whole city, of Chiang Mai, the valley, and basically the whole of the city. It's an incredible view, bit of view now, and it's sensational. And it's not panoramic, unfortunately, but you know what? It is sensational. So I'll show you now. Let me turn you around. Views for days. You see the airport there. You see the Chiang Mai over there. Absolute scenes. We've gone up like another level. The view's even better, but you can see more, so I'll turn you around. Absolute scenes. Right, that was interesting. So, temple done. Then, I was trying to go to a, a waterfall. So I agreed it with the, the Sonograd, which is basically a, a taxi. Um, and basically you didn't turn into the waterfall, it's inside the entrance outside the waterfall. And yeah, basically I was stuck halfway down the mountain. Because it's like from the so I got a, when I got here I got a, a a grab to Chiang Mai Zoo. And then from Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai Zoo I got like a Sonograd up for about 15 minutes. So I was gonna go to this waterfall, which is halfway up the mountain. But it's going to be a four kilometer there, four kilometer back. Just too far, I'm running out of time. It's going to be 
gonna run out of time one and it's just daylight so it was just very it was just a bit of a nightmare really so worked out that it was just it was gonna take me too long to do it so i was like right how the heck do i get down because there are no taxis or grabs or anything and i've obviously got no phone out here so um i just had to start walking and hitchhiked down the mountain it's only a five minute drive but that's the first that's the first time i've ever done that hitchhiked did did question did shit myself a bit but um i'm alive thankfully and now we were at different waterfalls so a waterfall called Huai Kuei waterfall i have a look around here um seems quite cool you can see behind me just got a, a bit of a, a nosy wonder see what it's about so yeah there's a first first time ever hitchhiked i will remember that I'll, again guys if you're doing this take take care obviously the risks in my opinion are quite low i knew i was going to had google maps but you know probably don't be hitchhiking in the dark when you've got no phone and things like that obviously i have my phone and stuff i could see where i was on google maps and like i knew the routes i just come up that route so yeah just be sensible unfortunately 99 percent of the people in this world are decent human beings but you do get the odd muppet so so yeah just a bit of a heads up right don't know how well you can hear me but here's the waterfall what a majestic sight unreal i love doing this stuff while i'm in asia we'll never do this at home chase waterfalls in on the outskirts of Chiang Mai that's the bottom of it there's me uh, quite a difficult climb up to be fair not the easiest but thankfully touch wood not too slippy uh, next scenes uh, probably be back in Chiang Mai I'll catch you later uh, views and waterfalls done for today how are we doing so not sure where we're up to with this but it's about an hour till midnight just been at a hostel and now just venturing out because of a load of lanterns. So yeah, I had a nap and then went for do some dinner. And now I'm just venturing out, just going to the lanterns. And then probably head out. The zone yeah, has got my name on it. So spicy. Last night in Chiang Mai, so don't know where I'm next gonna come here, so I've got to take full advantage. Anyway, let me just show you these lanterns. One second. There you can see them up in the sky there. And they're coming from the river, so the river is about the 20 second walk away. So I'll just show you that down by the river now and so busy, so so busy. Um, I'll put you on and show you. I'll actually have to show you up. So so busy. There's another one. Yeah, really cool. Really cool. How are we doing? 1st of January 2023. Happy New Year guys. Hope everyone had a brilliant New Year and has a great year ahead. So you join me in Chiang Mai, you join me uh, basically where I was last night. So I don't know what I filmed last night. It was a bit messy. Yeah, this is the stage behind me. Um, 2023. Basket there. And you have loads of lights. It's really cool at night. Really, really cool. I may have some videos and if I do, I'll put them in now or put clips. So yeah, we for night and we so I was at the hostel and then I met up with a couple of girls who I knew from Switzerland who were and a couple of lads as well who I met on Christmas Day. So and uh, New Year's together we were on the river watching the lanterns go up and, and then the fireworks etc. So it's really really cool and it's really nice to spend a, a New Year's in a, in outside the UK. So that's the first time I've done it and I don't know, I enjoyed it, it was nice, like, it was just cool um, and I'm glad it was slightly different and this whole sort of period's been different in terms of like Christmas and New Year, it's been really weird but like, a good word, I'm glad I've kind of done it and uh, this time period in a different country. I think the only thing that I haven't had is a Christmas dinner yet and we're in New Year so I don't know, I need a car for dinner, feeling it. But what have I done today? So we just got up about 12 and I've just sat in a Starbucks over there. There? Um, just sorting out Cambodia. Um, I fly to Cambodia tonight 
So I've got a flight about 10 o'clock and it's about 5 o'clock. So I'm going to get some late lunch and then I'm going to head to the airport in about an hour and a half. And then I fly to Bangkok. I spend the night in Bangkok airport, Don Mueang, and then I get an early morning flight to Cambodia. And my Cambodia adventure starts in the morning. So yeah, that's the plan. I've had a sick time. I've had a really good time here. I've had a really good time in Chiang Mai. I'm really glad I've gone to Pai. I went to Pai. Chiang Mai is somewhere that I definitely will come back. It's just my sort of place. Like, I don't know, it's just, yeah, there's, there's still loads I haven't done yet. Like clubs, I love the clubs in here. I love Zoe in Yellow. I love Spicy. They are just my sorts of places. I, mean, like, I just, it's the energy, it's the music. I don't know, I just I can't describe it. I, I, there's very few clubs that I've been to, like just normal dance music clubs that are like that. And I've said this probably two or three times on this video, but they are just sick and Chiang Mai is a cool place and it's like, it's it doesn't have the, the, quite the business or the skyscrapers of, of of Bangkok. I think it's because it basically kind of reminds me of Manchester. Like, it's 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 just it's a small it's a small to medium sized city. Too big. It's not too small. It's just a good size. It's got different areas you can explore. And yeah, that's why I like it. I'm gonna miss Chiang Mai. Looking forward to come back sometime this soon. Whether that may be, I don't know when that'll be because obviously I've got a place I want to go. But. Yeah, right, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna round up here. Thank you so much for watching Thailand. Thanks for being incredible, as per usual. See you soon, guys. I'll see you in Cambodia. Have a good year. See you later. Bye bye.